Welcome back, guys, to Waz Up TV, where we are talking about the Warriors versus the Dragons. Uh, this coming Friday night, tomorrow night, actually. I'm here recording this on Thursday, and uh, you look, we're looking to bounce back in a way off of a, a kind of a, a draw and um, up against the Dragons. That's kind of won a few games lately, so it's going to be really interesting. But um, let's get into it anyway. Um, yeah, if you guys are here for the first time at Waz Up TV, give us a like and subscribe. We're doing amazing content, live streams. Uh, most nights post game um we're doing a few shows as well so we're looking to grow the content but please give us a like and subscribe as, uh, if you are here for the first time um, but yeah so my thoughts on on the warriors versus dragons um yeah just i think it would be a you know for us uh, based off the manly game manly were a great opponent they they did a wonderful job uh, defensively they they sussed out how we attacked i suppose at times through that game i thought man could we have counted a lot what they did I think it's part of the learning process is learning if teams take away one thing, how do you counter that? How do you respond to that? I think we're still in, in the learning and processing um, and progressing mode. I think it's early in the season when you can look at the tape and you can look at what did they do and how can we better prepare for that. Um, yes, yeah, so it wasn't the greatest game by any stretch. I thought but I thought Manly were really good. Um, but, yeah, moving forward now, I think it's – kind of back to just getting back to what we, we do well. I think if you look at the Dragons' forward pack, it doesn't match up with, with our current forward pack. Now, that's not to say they won't play out of their skins. They definitely could. They've got great guys off the bench, uh, Blake Laurie, the Bellin, um, but they are starting with Molo and, and Ham Sele. So I look at our, our forward pack and say we're a class above. We should be able to go and do a job here. I think there will be similar in terms of the sense, you know, the other teams have been throwing massive punches at us early, trying to win that battle. I think we definitely are a team that grows into the game. I think that's pretty evident in terms of most of our performances. Slow start against Melbourne, we got into the game and got into an eight-point lead. Um, if you look at yeah, even the Rabbitohs game, Rabbitohs tried to throw a big punch, but after 30 minutes, we dominated. Last week, with the amount of errors that we played with, we eventually got to tie game after 80 minutes, but probably... You could say could have lost that uh, thing. So it's it's we are growing into the games and teams. The strategy against us at the moment has been to try and fight and battle it out, get into the grind. The, the only really successful team I found to do that were for the Sharks initially. That but that was early days, but mainly Manly. The big question is, can the Dragons do that? Um, can they live and deal with the amount of pressure we like to kind of um, give to other teams? You know to Ravalawa under the high ball. How many bombs from Johnson can he take without making a drop um, and the like? So, you know, there's. I think we just overall should beat them in all the metrics that we're really good at. I think we're really good at, you know, yardage out of our own half, kick return yardage, um, controlling the ball, controlling where we place, you know, field position, uh, position, you know, trying to pin them down in their corner and then have them fight out. Um you know, that's going to be a big task for them. And um, I think from what we've seen consistently, when, we, when we're when we on, we're usually very on. Now, I'd like to not see 13 errors. I think if we get half that, that would be quite successful. But I think we go into this game quite confident. Um, looking for a bit more from RTS on the edge in terms of just want to get more touches and kind of figure out something with Tamari. It's very hard that left side, um, no matter who's been there with – it seems as though it's not getting the full access of of, of play, and um, but hopefully over time, and maybe this might be a good game to see a breakout game for Roger, or you know, so get that left edge operating a little bit better. Um, you know, the read for most team has been line speed, getting guys to jam. Uh, you know, the out the back plays. Maybe we need to get back to the lead runners a little bit more. There, there's, I think we just need to really key off the defense and what they provide, and make sure that we make the right decisions at the right times. Um, but I think, you know, over, our overall team should be able to do that and do that well. Um, as for the forward pack, I think we should we should dominate. Um, now, the likelihood of Zion Maya playing, I think, is very high. I think we'll be pretty much see that cut off tonight. Um, but I, I think um, the, the the big boys will play the majority of the minutes, you know, early on. Um, but we'd love to see a Zion and be integrated into the team. I think Laban's been doing pretty well as well, integrating himself into the team. Tom Ali is, is playing consistent too. So it's great to see potentially three young guys and, and Chanel coming back and still relatively young, but experienced. 
and seeing them come in and, and be part of the, the bigger squad and, and you can kind of see the future for them. So I'm, I would love to see Zion Mo. I'd be a bit disappointed if Pompey stays in the 17. But Zion Mo for me, if he stays in, I just can't wait to see him get a run. Um, and uh, But that, that's great. Again, initiating our guys and getting them reps early in the season, I think, is, is, is more effective than later on. I think if you can get guys like Zion opportunity um, early, the Labans that will benefit us in the long term and in the back end of the season as well. So just really excited for those guys. Um, but, yeah, I feel as though um, we should pretty much be strong in this game. I mean, Ben Hunt is always always really solid. They've got good outside backs. I mean, Ravalau, if you give him an opportunity, he can score. Um, he's that powerful. So, you know, we really have to be clinical, not dropping any ball. We have, you know, we don't want to, we don't want them pinned on. Uh, we don't, we don't want to be on our own goal line defending and getting one on one isolated with Ravalawa. Um, but Ben Hunt is always class. I've, I always find that he's very good. Uh, Sloan, a young player, but you know he he has speed. We saw that the last time we played at Wollongong, he burnt us on the outside. So we've got to be on our toes, especially that right side defense. Teams have been stripping us going right. We need to get our, our, our shape right, especially on the third and fourth tackles. Um, but that comes back to dominance and control back in the ruck. I think this is a, probably a good game for us to get get a bit more control. I think Manly's pack with the bench that we had was a little bit too big for us. Um, this pack, I think, matches us really well when sh we should control the ruck a lot better. Um, but, um, you know, I think it would be a good game for Egan. I think there will we'll pretty much be quite quite good around the ruck. I think CNK will have another big one. Um, but, yeah, I just feel... I feel that we've got to, yeah, we just resume what we were doing. I think we maintain consistency. We make our improvements, obviously, um, but it's a short turnaround week. I doubt the boys would have got many reps. They might have looked at some tape, um, but in terms of reps, not so much. It probably would be, you know, maybe a few addition, maybe a few more set plays. We might see the likes of AFB on the out the back a bit more, a bit more of that type of right side attack. I think they want to try and get that right side going and humming even more. But me personally would like to see Roger maybe get a try and like you know, have a little bit of a breakout game in the centre position. Um, I know he's played well at the wing on, against the Rabbitohs, played well as fullback against the Knights, but uh, would love to see him get something more out of being a left centre um, because we haven't really yet, yet seen him break open a game from that position. But um, apart from that, I don't have much else to share. <laughs> and I'm going off the top. I haven't done super research with, uh, obviously, the JFH um, news coming out. But I just feel confident um, that we should resume what, we, what we've been doing lately. So um, I think it will be definitely a 13-plus game. We'll love us to see to get to get the 30-point mark again. More important, I think we, we shouldn't allow more than three tries – or two tries, sorry. Three tries, pardon me, for me would be a little bit too much. But two tries, I think, is, is, is you know, that can happen, uh, especially playing away. But, you know, I think what we want to do is tighten up our, our starts a little bit more. We want to put the pressure on them. I think Manly did a really good job of set completion. It tells you a lot about completing sets at a high level and a high number. Set can set you up for winning the arm wrestle. Um, I think, you know, if you look at the game against South, we had almost – full you know really high completion rate to their errors and that just flips the table too much that, that that amount of position just changes things too much so i would like us to see to get back to um you know no drop balls no errors high completion rate up around the 85 to 90 at least to start the game off with and then get into the grind and then open them up um later on in the game but bigger game wollongong is always tricky i know we've had a bit of success here uh, last year but it's always a tough place to play at, um, the fans down there. Um, but, you know, we should be the favourites and we should be confident going into that with a pretty good starting 13 and integrating some of our boys from Cup. Uh, but it's exciting. Can't wait to watch it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, but, yes, enjoy the game tomorrow night um, and we'll catch you later. Up to us.